In this video, I want to show you how to analyze this ideal op amp circuit. We'll start off by applying the ideal op amp assumptions. So first we know that zero current enters the op amp on the inputs. So the inverting terminal and the non-inverting terminal. Now pay attention to the inverting terminal because if zero current enters, that means zero current flows through this resistor. And if zero current flows through this resistor, then the voltage drop across this resistor is zero volts. That means if this node is at voltage VB, well, this node has to be at voltage VB. And because of the virtual short, this node has to be at voltage VB. And now we are in a great position to do some nodal analysis here. So if we want to sum the currents leaving the negative or inverting terminal, we have three of them. Well, one of them is zero, so we're just going to ignore it. And what we have here is for the first current, we have VB minus VA over RA. And this other current up here, VB minus VO over RA, or RF actually, RF. So we can write that in one equation now. And I'm going to push the VO over RF to the right-hand side. And I can group terms like there's a VB, which is multiplied by 1 over RA plus 1 over RF. And then there's a VA like this. Now, multiply both sides by RF, and we have... And so now we have this relationship, and we might write it a little bit more clearly. And uh, I'm going to replace these Gs. I actually like the symbol A better. A for gain. So there's a gain A and a gain B. Gain A is that, and gain B. And what you can see here is this op-amp circuit takes these two input voltages and sums them together, each with their own respective gain. And since one gain is negative, you can think of this as a difference amplifier. And so this equation really helps us see what's going on here. Two input voltages are scaled and added together.